Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to see how we can send an email if the service is stopped. So many people ask me that how to send an email notification if the service is stopped state. So for that we have to create a script which can detect the service status and accordingly it can send an email to the person. Okay, so uh, we have this script ready here we have to put the service name and here we have created a variable and the status we are capturing here for the service and then we are using the if statement here if the service status is not running then do this and if it is running then do this so both the thing we have captured here because if you want to monitor a service uh, using the task scheduler then you have to make sure uh, you have the record of uh, the running status and you have the record of not running status okay so what we have done here we have used the send hyphen mail message and then here we are using the from parameter then the person who is uh, uh, from which id uh, we are sending the email and then to whom we are sending the email and then subject line okay so uh, this is the custom message you can put anything uh, according to your service name so here we are using the service is not running and then sftmp so uh, i have installed exchange server on my this and i have configured the open relay so uh, it is not asking the username password while sending the email it is direct uh, directly sending the email from this sftmp server okay in the else statement if the service is running then what it is doing it is capturing the date and timing okay in this format and then it is writing to the log file here in the second line uh, it is giving the service status and then it is again the writing uh, the output in the log text file okay so whenever uh, as per your schedule when we when you run the script it will capture the status of the service and it will uh, note down in the text file but if the service is stopped uh, you can just put this line in uh, in this first if statement so it can capture that too but here we are already sending the email so i'm not capturing that log uh, when the service service is stopped okay so uh, let me save this and let me open the schedule task okay so now my current status of the service is running okay running fine so it will okay log file perfect okay so it is uh, writing the script like this so already the two events are there so let me run the script run okay fine now the service is running so it should have the third log okay you can see here okay there are so many logs okay here okay so uh, the current timestamp uh, 157 so the service is running okay so let me stop that service and go to my outlook let me close this one okay you can see I have already uh, scheduled that so every five minutes I'm getting this email that the service is not running now the service is running so I'm not getting the email so I just read all the unread email so we can uh, we can see the new message and let me stop this service okay fine now the service stopped and uh, let me run the script again now this time it should send the email message to me that service is not running okay and you can see here the email have come that service is not running please take action okay now this is what we uh, when we run the script correct now the uh, automated way and i have created this uh, task 
where uh, where it is automatically uh, every five minutes it is checking that service status and uh, it will send an email to me uh, if the service is not running okay so in the general uh, i have given the name here the service name and the service check okay here run whether user is logged on or not so it doesn't matter if your computer is logged off still it will monitor sort of service here in the trigger uh, i have given like uh, every five minutes it should run so you can see here on schedule the daily recurs every one day repeat the task every five minutes so that is that is what we have 5 10 15 30 and one hour okay and the duration of between minutes 30 minutes one hour 12 and one day okay so i have kept the one day here okay fine then action so what action so this is a very important task because many of the people say hey their script is not running under under the task scheduler but there has to be some mechanism to make it work okay so here you just have to select the start program here you have to enter powershell.exe okay so and here you have to give the complete path of your script so this is what you just have to do if you have the uh, restriction so you have to disable that like you have to set the powershell execution policy as an unrestricted or a remote signed so that will help okay otherwise this will fail if you have the restriction on your local computer it will not send an email so this setting you have to do here you just have to put the powershell.exe and here you have to put the complete path and you just have to click ok condition i didn't change anything here also i didn't change anything and here you can see it is just running that okay so let me see if we have any other message no it will automatically run after five minutes okay good so when it was run last timey 157 okay so after two minutes it will run the star uh, run this job again so we will monitor here uh, let it run at the back end and we'll just keep this outlook window open because this time the service is in the stop state okay let me refresh again okay stop fine okay let's wait for one minute and it should send a email and here you can see we have the new message adopt here i'm service service not running it is sent by the task scheduler so you can see here let me refresh it and you can see two the current uh, event here okay so in this way uh, you can send a message every five minutes it will check your service if the service is running then it will uh, write in the log file wherever you have the log file you can keep it there if you want to uh, capture the not running status as well in the log file you can just uh, modify the script you can just put these two line uh, copy this and paste it here and it will give the status yeah it will put the timestamp and then here you will see it's not running like stopped okay uh, so this is all dependent on the smtp open relay because uh, it is not using the authentication method uh, you may have seen that uh, on the vcenter or any uh, any uh, product where we just configure okay alert mechanism where we just configure the smtp server ip address or the host name and then we enter the email address so we start getting the email from that uh, ip okay so you have to uh, check with your exchange administrator for uh, this open relay and they will help you out if you have any doubt in this uh, in this uh, script you can just put into the comment box i'll try to answer that thank you for watching the video